One of the great new features in Windows 7 is that of jump lists. Jump lists allow us to see recently used files associated with an application. For instance, as currently shown on the screen, by right-clicking on the Excel icon in the taskbar, a user can see the 10 most recently used Excel workbooks. Clicking on a specific workbook allows the user to open the workbook immediately in Excel. Further, we can pin a specific workbook to the jump list so that it is always available even if it is not among the 10 most recently used workbooks. To do so, simply click the push pin next to the workbook name in the jump list. Instead of a specific file, oftentimes we have a folder that we need to access frequently. In many cases, this folder might be several layers deep in our Documents folder or Documents library in Windows 7. Fortunately, we can pin frequently used folders to the jump list in Explorer with just a few quick mouse clicks. To do so, first, right-click on the Windows Explorer icon in the taskbar. From the resulting pop-up menu, click the push pin next to the folder you wish to pin to the jump list, as currently shown on the screen. Upon clicking the push pin icon, the folder is pinned to the Explorer's jump list, as currently shown on the screen. If the folder you wish to pin to the jump list does not appear in the frequent section of the jump list, you can still add it to the jump list by simply dragging the folder onto the Windows Explorer icon on the taskbar. For example, if we wanted to make the Excel folder always available in the jump list by pinning it, simply click and drag the Excel folder onto the Windows Explorer icon on the taskbar, and now Excel is pinned to the jump list. As you can see, with the ability to easily add folders to Explorer's jump list, there's no need to waste precious time by digging through multiple levels for folders and subfolders within Windows Explorer. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.